All right, it is 7.30 in the morning. I've been on the road for about 45 minutes. We are on our way to pick up the trailer. And we gotta set up a show today. We gotta work a show today and tear down a show today. So I figured I'd break this down for you real quick because last time I did a vlog, it, it didn't, I didn't explain a lot. So I'm gonna try to break this down quickly for you. Basically, um, I own Kingdom of Wrestling. So the first show you saw in the last vlog was my personal show. Um, that's my promotion. I own all the equipment. I run the shows. Um, I have some people that help me out. But at the end of the day, I run Kingdom of Wrestling. Now, I'm one of the promotions that decided to own all my own equipment. What that means is the wrestling ring, the lights, the I mean, everything you see there, I own besides the actual venue we set up at. A lot of promotions choose to rent things. So, for example, somebody will want to run a show. Instead of going out and spending $10,000 on a wrestling ring, they will go and talk to a certain person who owns a wrestling ring and rent that ring. They will come and set it up, so on and so forth, use it for the show, tear it down, take it back. Then they don't have to store it. Saves them a lot of money, saves them a lot of time. So when I say I eat, sleep, and breathe wrestling, I literally mean I do wrestling gear 24-7. Uh, I do ring rentals on the weekends on top of running my own promotion. On top of, I also wrestle. Uh, and there's a lot of shows I go to that I don't rent the ring. I, I'm just there to wrestle. I think I explained it all. Hopefully I can cut this down to manageable size. Also, sorry about spitting in a cup. Some fire seeds are my vice. It's better than some other vices. It's hard, I've been scarred from now fighting. Waking up, stomach is starved, I keep grinding. 6 a.m., life isn't hard, I keep reciting. It feels like I might fall apart, I keep trying. Sun's coming up and the glare is so blinded. I'm sick of hearing and seeing all of the people whining. You want something good? Then you better go put the time in You get what you pay for and time is money We climbing It's prime time, it's my time, I got it I'll be just fine, my mom And you can't stop it Give me a bond to climb and I'll top it Grow yourself a spine, got mine, that's a promise Take a deep breath and head towards the darkness The light at the end wasn't put there by no novice My hand like stands, so welcome to my office No time to repent, we're building and not and stopping we're gonna take it slow And we gonna make it out this hole And ain't nobody stopping us, no So watch me as I go, watch me as I grow And we ain't gonna take it slow And we gonna make it out this hole Stopping us, no So watch me as I go Watch me as I grow, yeah I'm the fucking show I'm gonna rule this world one day Y'all finna know the name I'm spitting game to the people who decide our fate I'll make a name in history, be one of the greats I've got the traits that you need to get past the gates Man, I don't wait, I exceed every single day A different breed, yeah, I put it on display uh, Got all I need and it's up inside my brain uh, I will succeed cause I tell myself that every day Y'all will concede and remember the name Shout out to Fort Minor we are all set up here, ready to roll. I am now got some killing time. We got the card over here and we are ready to roll, man. I'm psyched for tonight. Uh, if I win my match tonight, I'm heading to the finals. I'm in the finals. Uh, it'll be me and either Bud Heavy or uh, Winston Bentley III for the CWA Heavyweight Champion. I don't know if you know this, but I'm gonna fucking win because I'm Cody goddamn Behringer. All right, all right. <laughs> 
close to the camera because it's loud as fuck back here. I'm about to go out. Let's fucking do this. Keep talking. Come on there, too, kid. Here's the deal. I drove all the way out here. I leased up my boots. I put on my trucks. I put on this perfect jacket. I'm standing in front of this trash right here. in front of me and yet you guys boo me you see me as the bad guy i'm the guy 
that shows up every day and does my job. I'm the guy that does it better than everybody else. And I tell you that I do it better than you, and that's why you don't like me. You don't like me because I'm 300 pounds I can flip, and you can't get out of your damn bed. I'm 300 pounds, and I'm better than everybody out there. I don't have to do every goddamn thing under the sun to make me worthy of this belt. So that being said, I've got something to go watch. Bud Heavy, Winston Bentley III, I hope you kill each other. Because February 10th, when I'm walking out there, I want it to be easy. Because I've fought my whole damn life to be here. Hate me if you must. But your legacy ends right here. Oh, and Ron Bass Jr., since you couldn't show up, since you couldn't be here since you weren't medically cleared, you're no longer the forgotten state. You're just my forgotten bitch. About to go out for the main event, you know. I'm just, just predicting the future, if you know what I mean. You should know what I mean. Love you too, baby. <laughs> Bud, you know, you, you just, you never learn. You put these obstacles in front of me and now, now out of the blue you decide to go no DQ? See, I'm not sure if you're aware, but last week I bled so much the third row smelled iron, all right? If you want to do this, if you want to go to the limit, if you want to take it somewhere that we've never been before, I am ready to go. If you want to bring light tubes, bring light tubes. We'll be like Ron Bass Jr. and wrestle on a tarp over in New York. But I want you to bring everything you got. Because I don't want to hear a single excuse. I don't want to hear a damn thing whenever I walk out as CWA champion. After I take out Bud, I've got a long list of people that I plan on knocking off. Ron Bass Jr. is at the top of it. Who else we got? Daniel Starling's really showing out. Jeez, has been asking for an ass whooping since, I don't know, 1942 when he introduced himself to the dinosaurs and his mom woke up from her slumber. Here's the deal. My name's Cody Barringer and I'm your future CWA heavyweight champion. And there's nothing you can do about it. And you can tell they're running scared. So run scared. Because I'm standing right here. And uh, as a famous guy once said, Barons, you don't run, son. <laughs> oh, boy, do I hurt today. It's the next morning. A long drive home. I had an hour and a half drive home after we had the hour drive to drop the trailer off. I'm sore. Good God, Mike Orlando is a tough son of a bitch. Ooh. Anyway, the things we did get filmed as I came back out at the main, um, set up for the championships, me and Bud, they randomly decided it was going to be no disqualification. So now February 10th at the DeSoto County Fairgrounds, it's me and Bud Heavy uh, in the championship main event and now it's no DQ. And my last weekend, obviously, didn't go as well in a no DQ, so. Here we are, though. Bud Heavy is a specialist at no disqualifications. Um, he's a, uh, he's an absolute psychopath. But I'm a little crazier. February 10th is the date. It's the marker. It's the moment that I will be the CWA heavyweight champion. There's no denying it. There's nothing that can stop me. I am going to be CWA heavyweight champion if it kills me. Speaking of killing me, I'm feeling pretty much like death at the moment. So I'm going to go ice my ribs, my neck, my back, my wrist, my ankle. All right. I'm the fucking show.